Could we do that again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're saying well, it's Well, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying. <laughs> that's brilliant. No, that's excellent. That's fantastic. So can I, do you have like a... Should I just leave that here and then varnish it? Yeah, leave back? it, leave it, uh, leave it and we'll varnish it. What I would do is just put a little bit of something under there. Uh, just okay. a little bit of shadow. We'll get the original and we'll just have a look under there. Just a little bit of shadow and it'll just lift that hand forward. Should I do? A bit. Yeah. And that's it, job done, yeah. Sign it, sign it about the, leave enough room for the frame. Job done, that's excellent. Thanks very much. Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah, it looks beautiful. I would, yeah. That's your second bit. Yeah. Boom, isn't it? Excellent, you're getting good at this. And I like the hair, the hair works. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. Couldn't be better. Hey? Okay. That's brilliant. Oh, yeah, that jawline is super. Yeah, yeah, that works, doesn't it? Put that sort of dark shadow underneath there now. Just underneath there. And it's a compliment, it's the complementary colour of that. It's this. I'm not going to do it for you, I'm just going to suggest the complementary colour. You've got that, and it's a kind of a reddy yellow, isn't it? So you really want a bit of violet. Just a little bit of violet. Just that. Just that. A little bit of violet. Just under there. Just run it under there. And it's almost got a yellow in it, hasn't it? Yes. Okay. Just under there like that. Look at that. That does it. You just work that in. With a, and then just add a little bit of yellow over to it. And that'll be perfect again. Yeah. Well done, yeah. You're on the final knockings with that now, aren't you? I'm still with us. Yeah. You happy with it? Yeah. Yeah, I would be. Yeah. It's brilliant. Super. Yeah, it's great. A bit what around the mouth? A bit blood. Oh, blurred. No, no, no. What it is is it's not at all. The mouth's fine. What it is, it needs that line in the middle. See that dark line in the middle? Yeah, I And that is the now because that mouth is red. That's a grey line in the middle, and you'll get that grey line with the complement of red. The complement of red is. Green. Yeah. Mix green and the actual red that you've used on the lips together, which is a cadmium red with a bit of white in it. Mix that to pink. Mix that with green, and the green I would suggest is viridian. Don't make your own green. You've got two colours, that red with viridian, and that'll give you the grey. That'll give you the grey that goes right to the middle of that mouth, and that mouth will look fine. And then a little bit of white just on that bottom lip, and that's perfect. Get a bit of viridian in it. Yeah. That's great, Lawrence. Yeah. I, just, yeah. Uh, I would be. I would be a hundred times more happy with that than, I, than than you were at the start of the class. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I all I would do now is I would get some dark, dark paint, almost black, with a bit of green, and very, very quickly with a big brush, very impressionistic, just go over that, and that painting doesn't need anything else doing to it. Yeah. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some blacky green. What 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 yeah. what I'm doing in my palette for that? I've got. You've got that blue on your palette, so I would go with um, yeah, go with a viridian. This uh, is viridian and some black, and that'll be perfect. It's just you know you can bring that's it there. that viridian and um, some black ivy black uh, is an, a really you know. Did you take the black down your end, uh, Pat? I'm sure you did. I think here somewhere there's a black. Yeah, there's a black. Yeah. Pat's got all the colours. He's robbed all the colours. He's got them all down his end. There we go. This sort of that. That's fine. And a nice big loose not a loose brush, a nice big stiff brush. Is that best to you? I would say something like, you know, nothing too precise. Yeah, that's perfect, yeah. yeah. That's perfect, yeah. Yeah, and then just get them together, don't over mix them, and then straight in. Sings, doesn't it? You know? In with the black, in with the green. Don't over mix them, keep that liveliness. See that quality of paint on the surface, look at it. You, can, you know it's right, as soon as you put paint on, you know it works, don't you? You go. Somehow I got a bit of blue in there, but don't worry about it. Avoid the blue. Go for the green and the green and the black. That's the green and the black there. And mix them, pull them out separately, don't mix them together. Okay. Pull them out separately and put them on. So separately. what do you want to achieve there? That I like the I mean, you want it all over this surface. Yeah, because it, it, it what it does is it'll darken this down. Use right. your brush. If you if you if you bring it around here, there. Look how it contrasts with that. See? 
Yeah. Can you see how that works? Yeah. You know, and then here. See how it works. See how it suddenly it does it, doesn't it? You know, it, it, the painting sings like that. You know, it speaks back at me. Yeah. And then you can get this definition for the for this here. Uh, that's, it's a, it's a, like a turtle neck or something, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you know, I keep it nice and loose. Look at that. You can do it. Okay, right. Yeah, that's super. Yeah. yeah. Go on, Arisa. <laughs> I'm being loose. Are you loose? Are you loose? I'm going to give you a massage and loosen you up. Yeah? Well, that's what's the matter. Well, right. you you, yeah. That's better. You're moving your hands, yes. aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it shows. It really shows it's in the paper. Yeah, that's the right colours. Yeah. Kind of yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They are the right colours. Don't overwork them, though. No. And let them dry. Okay. When you've got those sleeves in there, when you've got those highlights in the sleeves there, let it dry. Right. Okay. Uh, and get these sort of any little... Impressiony bits of uh, underneath. Yeah, well, underneath. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It just gives a direction to that Adapt. sleeve. Yeah. It's, it comes around, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 yeah super. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to do justice to, oh, okay. to the Mona Lisa. Yeah. It's okay. great painting, you know. No, uh, no. It's almost like you're standing in front of something that's, you know, we're not in front of the actual painting, but we're no. in front of the, you know, a, a masterpiece, really. You know. You've got to do justice to that. <laughs> so we right. can't have a second rate okay. masterpiece. Okay. A first rate masterpiece. Sure. So that if Leonardo da Vinci came in here and you said to him, that's the second oil painting, and he'd go, Well, you know, if one of my apprentices had done that, I'd be I'd be very happy. Right. You know? So that's the kind of thing, okay. isn't it? You know? Yeah. yeah. Dennis, what about this colour here? We did mention some sort of green. It is, it's it's green and it's black. A dark green, green and green. black, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, for the third time I've been around here, Viridian. Viridian yeah. green. Viridian yeah. and yeah. Green black yeah. together. It's the most vibrant of greens, okay. Viridian. Well, Hooker's green's pretty vibrant yeah, as well. I've never tried yeah. Hooker's green before. Yeah. I don't know where it's made by Fallen Girls in Soho. <laughs> <laughs> It is, that's where it was originally made by. Mm. Honestly, oh, yeah. the original yeah, the original paint was made by four girls in Soho. And it's like got its name, Hooker's Green. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'll leave that on the internet. <laughs> uh, that's a good one for uh, uh, pointless answers, you know. <laughs> hey? That's a good one for pointless, you know. <laughs> now I'm lying to you. Oh, He's you a you asked a hundred people. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> We asked the hundred people, yeah. No, oh, uh, I'm lying to you, Reed. That's good, beautiful, yeah, yeah. That's spot on. Hoping that you tell. <laughs> How can you tell I'm lying to you? I don't know. That's excellent. Yeah. He opens his mouth. So <laughs> should I just stop there? Stop there. Stop, yeah, stop, stop there. Going. And you can get that charcoal up the back. That's your cartoon. So we get that charcoal up on the back. Get it stuck onto your canvas. Draw around it with a biro. The Renaissance artists, when they used to make a cartoon, they, they didn't have paper like we've got. They used to prick around it. Then they get the apprentice, the, like Leonardo da Vinci, glue it up on the Sistine Chapel ceiling with some gum. And the apprentices would get up there with bags full of powdered charcoal and they'd pat it and the charcoal would come out through the pores of the bag, the linen bag, uh, and cover the painting or the drawing cover them but it would go through the holes and when they took it off they had a dot drawing but we've got good paper and we can use biros that they didn't have so we put the charcoal on the back stick it on the canvas draw around it take it off and you've got a print then we paint around that print with a bit of acrylic job done you've got a cartoon fixed and you and then you work at it a bit and you get painting like that <laughs> 80 hours it took him to do that. 80 hours. It's good, isn't it? For 80 hours. Mm. She took it home and it wouldn't fit in her house. So she brought it back and I bought it off at £5.50. Cheaper the price. I know, yeah. So, what's my next move then? Because now it's getting. You're nearly there. Nearly 3 o'clock. Nearly 3 o'clock. Call it a day at that. Put your drawing away safe, okay? And then when I come back from holiday, that's your. So put it away safe, put it in the portfolio. And put that yeah, in the portfolio. That in the yes. so put that in the portfolio as well because no one's going, no one's going to be here between now and then. So okay. that'll so be in the portfolio. Right the yeah, right, right name, Janita. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How's you two going? And I deliver some words of wisdom here. Yeah.
We were just discussing the Sistine Chapel, how John has actually uh, uh, visited it. Have you been there? Oh, sure. Uh, oh, yeah, it's June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something else, isn't it? Uh, yeah. We've been uh, talking about this for the video. This is what we're talking about, the Sistine Chapel. No, we're not, John, this is natural conversation. <laughs> 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 Are you doing it now? Scrub that bit out. Scrub that bit out. Oh, the actor or anything. No, you rehearsed your lines. Oh, that was your last year. Yeah, I know, yeah. My pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the lot is you. Well, so what do you think? There's a demon hush retrospective on at the Tate. What do you think about that, Dennis? Not much. Boy. <laughs> Not much at all. No. Oh, it's called Con Art, isn't it? Con Art. Julian's yeah. called it on the radio. It is called Con Art. Contemporary Art. Con, con Art. No, con conceptual Art. Julian Spalding's written a book about it. Yeah, um, yeah, he doesn't like it at all, does he? He it. Yeah. I heard them on the radio the other yeah, day. I didn't, but I can imagine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Which I think was Yeah. Well, he says, you know, like a Mona Lisa lying in the gutter is still a Mona Lisa. You know, take a Damien Hirst and lie in the gutter and it's a bit of old rubbish. Mm -hmm. What's an unmade bed in your house? Not a work of art, is it? You know? I've got an unmade. But my living room is like Tracy Emmons' couch. But it's it's the framing, isn't it? It's framing. Oh, stuff. we can all bullshit about it if we want. No, I'm not bullshitting. It's it's true, you know. Oh, it's the what? <laughs> I watched the, the framing. framing. It's the framing, you're framing all all I watched bed. a programme in Sky. It was in a competition. I was a great artist and the critics were there. And this last year done one, it was horrible, painting. And she says, and the guy says, what is it supposed to be? And she, she said, but that's from my inside, my oh, head. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the guy went, well, it's not She's obviously it. never it's had It's not a for us, you know what I mean? It's not, nothing visual for us. Yeah. Uh -huh. so I think See, a little bit of knowledge is a dangerous thing. They, she's not heard of Descartes' system of hyperbolic doubt, you know? Oh, don't go on Descartes' system of hyperbolic doubt. Where, uh, <laughs> where you, know, you know what I mean? You perceive what's there. Make a facsimile of it, and I'll see the same thing as what's there. Regardless of what you see, what I see is, is a facsimile, and that's it. So, you know, so draw a facsimile. If we both see the same thing and you see it differently to me, but you draw the same facsimile that you see, as long as your facsimile is an accurate one to you, I'll see a facsimile even if I don't see the same thing as you. Don't explain what's a facsimile. Copy. Fancy way of saying a copy. You see a copy, Davis. A fancy way of saying a copy, John. <laughs> Yeah. He's warm enough in here. Ah, uh, it's boiling yes. in here, Dennis. I'm going to turn that heater off. It is boiling in here. If you get cold, you can turn Take it off. Take your heater in here if you want. No, we've got a heater in there. I'll turn that one off as well. All finished, Tom? Yeah.